Hello students. Today we are going to learn class 7th lesson number 4 angles and pairs of angles. Now let's define an angle. Okay. Now see an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point. An angle is represented by symbol this angle are measure in degrees and by using protractor okay now see these are OA and OB these are two rays okay and these two rays meet at a particular point O okay and that point point O is called as vertex what is what what, what can we call it we will call it as a vertex okay now see these are OA and OB these are two arms okay and what is the name how can we write the name of this angle angle A O B or we can write is this is 3M system and we can write by 1M system that is single that is angle O see these two points these two rays made at a particular point now that at what point this two ray made that point is called as vertex and the angle is angle o okay now let's see next point that is interior and exterior point of angle now let's see which are interior points so now see r point r point c point x and point n these are inside to that of angle angle a w b okay angle a w and b this is angle okay and inside to this angle interior part is this one and so inside to this angle the point r point n point x point c these are all interior points now let's see which what 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 is the exterior part see all this all this part is exterior okay now see the extra point are point t point u point q point v and point y these are what exterior points but see some points are lying on the arm of this angle see w a is one arm w b is another arm okay vertex is w now the points which are lying on this arm which are the which are the that point point a is lying on arm point w is lying on arm point g is also on arm and point b is also on the arm of angle and so these points are present on the angle that is on the side of angle and so we call these points are on arm of angle now let's see adjacent angles now see l m n this is angle okay now see what is meant by adjacent angle how can we define adjacent angles adjacent angles are two angles that have a common vertex and a common side but not but do not overlap see the m is a common point that is it is a common vertex huh? of this two angle see here angle L M P okay angle L M P this is one angle and another angle is angle P M N okay see here P M N these are what two angles okay and these two angles have a common arm that is M P M P is a common arm mp is a 
common arm so these two angle are what adjacent because they have a common arm which is mp mp is a common arm and common vertex is m but their interior you you can observe this is what interior of lmp and this is interior of interior part of pmn again see this one this is interior part of angle lmp and this is interior part of angle pmn but these two these two parts are not overlap with each other that is these are separated okay these are separate interior and so that angles are called as adjacent angle so we can write angle l m p and angle p m n these are what adjacent angles okay you got it the adjacent angle now let's see some examples for it now see in this figure okay we have to find out adjacent angle now see adjacent angle means what what we saw what we saw two angles which have a common vertex and common arm and separate interior now see one two angles should have one common vertex here angle p q t okay angle p q t and angle p q r these are two angles which have see this which have a common arm that is p q p q is a common arm okay and q is a common vertex so we can write here angle p q t and angle p q r okay p q r these are what these are we call as a adjacent angle okay now see we can take one next example of adjacent angle now see in this angle angle these are there are totally three angles this angle this angle and this angle and see let's take see one over uh, one angle b n a okay and a n c here a n is a common arm see here a n a n that is this is common arm and n is what common vertex so we can write here angle a n b and angle b n c c here angle here b and c this is also a n c okay a n a n b a n b and i can write here as a a n b and what we saw a n c and angle a n c okay these are two adjacent this angle and this angle okay now see here next next point that is angle b and c angle b and c and angle c n a okay these two angles that is this angle and this angle okay these two are adjacent because they have a common arm nc and common vertex as a n okay now this angle and this angle that is a and b and b and c here is a common arm is bn and common vertex is n okay so we can write angle a n b and angle b n c as a common as as it contain one common arm 
and one common vertex so these two are adjacent angles now in this video we saw about adjacent angle and what we saw about interior and exterior point of angle we define here angles interior and exterior point of angle and adjacent angle okay in our next video we will see about pairs of angles thank you